Now, usually the term basika laja or mat laja isn't associated with something positive. In fact, they're usually considered a menace to society. But the Youth and Sports Ministry believes there is talent in this community. And today, Said Sari Said Abdul Rahim Rahman said the government will be tapping into that talent. He has plans to train these mat laja at the National Youth Skills Institute so that one day they can be cycling champions. The minister explained that there are two types of mat laja, one who likes to modify bicycles while the other prefers the need for speed. Those with modifying skills can be taught in the mechanical and design industry, where they can learn how to make better safety features, while those who yearn for speed can be trained to participate in competitive racing. Uh, we've already uh, run many, many different cycling workshops with the bicycle laja group. For example, uh, because again, if you just build a circuit without getting the actual expertise to train them, it becomes an issue because if you look at how they modify their bikes, a lot are very much unsafe because they have no brakes and usually they don't wear any safety equipment. Said Sadek said his ministry will get input from various stakeholders and communities to ensure these cyclists' passion be put in the right place. He was responding to calls for new laws to act against workshops or individuals providing modifications to transform bicycles into bicycle lajak.